getting for every thousand that I'm buying. <laughs> that's like one and a half thousand dollars. That's what I'm imagining. Every time I buy TRVL now, I think I'm buying the all time high prices, but for cheap. That's what I'm imagining. Thousand TRVL right now, these current prices. Guess how much that is? Like $53. I'm imagining that that is one and a half thousand dollars. <laughs> that's what I'm imagining. All right, that's TRVL. Um, we tested five point five once. Let's test. You know, let's get out there. Let's let's push up. Why not? If anyone has a large amount of value, we've just broken this downtrend. See that? Um, and what I'm expecting is break some break some back test and some continuation that's what i'm expecting with with this with, with with this kind of break it still puts us into this kind of triangle yeah so i wouldn't necessarily think like we have some levels to get to the biggest level is going to be nine cents so it doesn't really matter. I think nine cents is going to be a big, like this is the thing while, while I'd possibly be aiming for higher, which I am, we may be in a situation now, you know, where we go down we go up, and that's the break. That will be sometime in August and that's the break. Yeah. So I am actually considering some kind of, abc here yeah some kind of this is actually this would actually be a flat correction if this is what happens here if this is our correction this is going to be an abc look so let me just show you what i'm thinking right now let me get my uh, higher time frame levels off let me bring my elliott wave account back it better be here because i don't like redoing it if i it was a lot of work <laughs> shit i've lost it do i not have it oh god don't tell me i've lost it no it's so annoying it's so frustrating huh? oh. i must have deleted it shit why would i do such a mad thing <laughs> all right never mind all right so let me just quickly do it for so people see what i'm thinking right and i'm uh, i'm gonna go to a slightly low, lower time frame i'm gonna go to a four hour time frame um and just looking at the price chart the price action i am actually considering that the the, the first wave began here before I know I've said it, it probably could have started there, but I don't necessarily think it's a problem for it to have started here. It doesn't invalidate my idea. So you start with uh, an impulsive move. It always starts with an impulse. Yeah. So that's your wave one. You have an ABC correction. Then you have your wave. That's your wave two. Then you have your wave three. Now the wave three consists of five waves. That's your wave one, A, B, C. You have your wave two. A, B, C, extended flat. And then you have your wave uh, three, all the way up to there. You have an A, B, C down to complete your wave four. And you have your fifth wave there that's your fifth wave right so let me just kind of break it down again so people can see what i'm imagining right now the way i'm contemplating this this is your abc so a b c that's your a that's your first abc that is a zigzag this is a zigzag so you have impulse a zigzag okay then you have your next impulsive move. Now, while this one, I'm just imagining five waves in that short kind of impulsive up. 
every impulsive move has five waves so just to keep for this one i'm going to just imagine it to there so that's your first wave one a b c to two then you have your one this is your three Um, one, two, three. So that was a extend. That's like a, is that a zigzag. So this is a. I'm just trying to think. Does it start one, two, three, four, four? Probably to there. It's like a flat. And that's quite impulsive. One. Two, one. It's hard to tell exactly, but probably something like that. Some kind of flat. So here I'm imagining um, your one, two, three, four, five. There's five waves in that. You've got ABC here. Then you've got uh, potentially uh, one there. One, two, three, four, five. ABC. Again, this is some sort of um flat correction it's a little bit of a flat correction this is uh no that's a zigzag sorry that's a zigzag um and then you'll have a flat one here so something like this it's quite it's quite a weird one and then one two three four five to complete that five wave there so you have your waves your corrections this is an abc down this is a this is a really deep zigzag the reason why i like this wave here is Because it doesn't come underneath the one, the initial one that we put in. Now that brings me to the next point. Could the could the one be up to there? One, two, three, four. No, I think this is fine actually. This looks okay. Uh, maybe to there. Maybe to there. One, two, A, B, C is to there. abc and then you have your five waves one two three four no one two three four five okay and this was the challenge actually like i did at the time i was contemplating it but i didn't you know i didn't it's hard because it's a it's a completely brand new token and therefore you know it's like we're just trying to see how this token behaves one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, no. One, two. So one, we see. Okay, yeah, that's it. One, A, B, C. Sorry, it's not easy. Let's just put this up. So one, A, B, C, two, three. Or five that was it okay and for all, in for all intense purposes the final push to get to our highest number um was the wave three of of the last wave five okay david is saying had to go to have dinner what did i miss nothing really uh, i think um bitcoin is still trying to get up um we've formed some single prints which i've marked off it hasn't got down to the single print nothing's really changed david i'm just kind of now um yeah i've looked at the order flow yeah, yeah. let me just finish what i'm doing here because this uh 
I'm in a flow here with TRVL. I'm redrawing this Elliott wave count because I have an idea of what could happen in the future. And I just want to uh, map this out. Yeah, I have, I've, I mean, th I think about TRVL more than most people, <laughs> uh, except, of course, those people who are working for D-Travel. Like, outside of D-Travel, I may be one of the <laughs> most obsessed people with TRVL. Maybe I'm the most obsessed. I don't know. I don't expect that to last forever. There must be more obsessive people in the world than I am, than me. So anyway, so now I'm thinking potentially that the impulse began here. One, A, B, C, that's a zigzag. Okay, that's your one. That's your two, A, B, C. Then you, you initiate your wave three. Your wave three consists of five waves. One, A, B, C. That's an that's another zigzag, yeah. Your three, A B C. That's a flat. There's some kind of flat move there. Um, with your last push five, okay. One two three four five. That works. You have a sharp sell off. This is a zigzag. This is a very deep zigzag. Uh, it comes. It's the four. It's the wave four, and the the only condition of the wave four is that it doesn't come underneath the top of the one um the, the one that i'm looking at is the purple one so it actually it it, it doesn't get as far as 4.7 so that's fine and then you have your last wave i was looking at this in depth and actually the peak was the wave three of five and then this is the this is of this is this whole move this whole correct uh impulsive move was was our wave one this whole thing all the way up to the five of five was our wave one and, you know, at the time I was thinking to myself, this is the way five of five. Okay. And now in hindsight, you know, hindsight gives you confidence because if you're right, then going forward, you know that you're, you're on point, you're on, you're on the target. So if I was to go back to March 27th, 27th for the 26th of March, I could probably get the video where I'm saying that this might be the five. Uh, and actually looking back, it was the five. <laughs> you can see that very clearly. And so while I didn't trade that because I'm not looking to sell at uh... <laughs> Cactus Cake. Um, what can I say, my friend? Uh, I'm still looking to short. So don't, you know, the fat lady's not out singing yet. But, you know, just wait for her. Uh, I'll, I'll go over Bitcoin in a second. Let me just finish this because <laughs> I want to create a video. Anyway, so while at the time I was seeing this could have been the five, I didn't act on it because I wasn't looking to sell at these low prices and influence the move. And actually in hindsight, maybe I should have, uh, but you know, <laughs> I'm not really fussed. Uh, the reality was that it was the, that, that was the peak of the move. Okay. So at the time on the live stream, I was, I did somewhat suggest that this could be the, the fifth wave and looking at the way the prices afterwards reacted or acted, that definitely was the end of the fifth wave. Okay. Now the conditions for Elliott, Elliott waves are that after you begin, you don't, you can't go underneath. Yeah. So wherever you begin, if this is the zero. Yeah. And so initially I thought maybe the zero was here somewhere here. But now looking back, I'm actually thinking that was the zero. That was the zero. There was a high low on this kind of move, but that was a zero. And since then, we I can easily count five waves up to there. And I can break down the waves into their corrective waves. Okay. So since then, what I'm seeing here, and this is what I want to say. If this whole move is wave one, okay, and that's what I'm going to suggest. So this is all wave one, wave one, all right, that's your wave one. And we're now in a corrective two. Okay, so if you can imagine all of this as wave one, all the way up and people are thinking where's the peak where's the peak where's the peak well the peak is actually at the 382 here 
not this that's not the peak that was your peak of your three but the wave one actually completes on the five okay and so therefore what you can do or what, I, what i'm about to do is draw another um wave to that peak as the peak just get it to the top there that's your wave one now we're looking to finish our wave two for a three four five okay so let me just change that color what color do we want maybe yellow or gold and what i can do now let me just get rid of these brush strokes um let me get rid of the first wave because we have that now and what i'm going to hone in on is the, the next wave which is our wave two the current wave this is a wave two and so something to bear in mind about this wave is um that it's a deep wave this is a deep wave and the only condition for invalidating an, our, our initial wave is for the wave two to come lower than 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 the launch price than the zero the zero is here so i'm not expecting the price now to come under 3.3.1 i know cactus and everyone else is looking to buy trv at 3.1 I'm not expecting that because that would invalidate this first wave. And I've, I think I've counted this wave correctly. Okay. And so therefore, where has the price come into? If you take into consideration a Fib retracement from here, where I'm imagining the wave to be, to begin, to begin up to the end of the first wave, All right? And I think this is really important for people to see visually what I'm imagining. So I'm not taking it from pivot to pivot. I'm taking it from the beginning of my imagined start point of wave of wave of the of the Elliott wave here, here, right at the beginning. So probably um, here where you have the first green candle at the beginning, bottom of the first green candle. That's your that's where the impulse begins. You see that. And then I'm taking it all the way to the end of wave five yeah wave wave five right at the end of not to the pivot to the top to the end of wave five which is the end of wave one so the end of so that because that top pivot isn't five it's three okay you see that that's three i want to take it to the end of the five which is the end of the one the the, the wave one just in case you didn't know most people don't so I'm telling you, <laughs> your wave ends at the end of five, <laughs> not the not the top. It's never it's not the top. It's the end of the wave. And now if I take a fib retracement from the beginning. Not the top there, but to the end of the first wave. Look what we're seeing here. The price has come into the golden pocket. Look at this zoom in so you can see look you can you know that the you know that this is working because in the first initial drop look how the price comes into to that level look at that how perfect was that yeah you see how interesting that was we had a sell buy back and look where the price comes to resist fake out another sell buy back and and you see now we've we've we're back above the golden pocket you see so for all intents purposes the golden pocket of the first wave is offering us support yeah so i just want to kind of get you guys to hone in on this more than anything else right now because of, of course i've been talking about 5.5 as a really important level but there's something to be said about elliott waves which transcends everything else yeah and naturally i care more about elliott waves than anything because that's how i'm going to be able to track the price to the highest prices and be able to signal some kind of uh destination for people who are looking to hold all the way to the to the final wave to the final top i'm more interested in elliott waves than anything and so we've i think we've completed our wave one this is our wave one okay i think and look 
everything has a caveat yeah so while i'm not 100 percent, because no one can ever be if if for some reason tomorrow something happens to something to someone to whoever and the price drops down like that this whole thing becomes invalidated and all of this work has to be redone and reset because you 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 can't begin an elliott wave one if the wave two if the price of the wave two goes underneath the initial starting point of the wave one okay and, and so therefore there's always that kind of caveat to what i'm saying but if that's the end of the wave one then guess what we're in the wave two now and maybe we've come to an end i don't know okay i'm just counting all i'm doing is counting and what you want to see in a wave two correction is um abc's yeah all of this should be abc uh, and so i'm just going to kind of go through it now i'm just trying to see if i can i can work this out let me just go to the higher slightly higher time frame it might be easier to see abc a b c i can't tell right now actually just looking at it i can't i can tell you i can't tell i can't tell it's not easy to tell but i have an idea mm -hmm. and i just want to share the idea with you and let's see if this works out right i'm not 100 percent yet all right i'm not 100 percent yet but i am thinking that maybe the correction continues i'm not necessarily expecting some kind of impulse just yet all right possibly what i'm thinking is this okay abc i don't know how far this is going to go up so i can't tell you um i'll have to work that out but let's just say we have this yeah something like that for five for 5.5 5 to be our final resting place don't know where it's going to be so i'm kind of contemplating right now so i can't i don't know how this is going to play out but effectively what i'm imagining is this to this to this do you see that i'm not necessarily expecting an impulsive up uh maybe an up the up now could be liquidity clearance clearing a bit of liquidity then we have another corrective down yeah another abc now this abc i can't predict so the other thing you can bear on this for me this would be quite um quite flat if you have would it be flat see the other prop the other thing i'm thinking is this <laughs> so i just want to make you aware of what i'm thinking is something like that but you wouldn't you couldn't go underneath the the start point yeah you can't go underneath the start point so whatever happens here um that's the start point that's the line in the sand and and then you'd be looking at something slightly this is this is this is actually a zigzag okay so let me just mark that out 
so this i think this would be the best because we don't lose our bottom trend line and then here you're you're actually looking for something like this and when you're imagining wave one it's not a flat is it a flat yeah it's it's quite flat it's quite deep but it's also quite flat in that sense it's like a zigzag but it's uh it's quite it's a bit of flat <coughs> let me kind of pull up elliot waves to have a look correction we have a look at the <coughs> elliot wave corrective pattern <coughs> oh excuse me sorry copy image there's a there's a few so it's not as straightforward double you could reverse these this is this is this is uh these are bearish ones so you could you could actually reverse these these patterns in the other way around uh so it's not easy to see that's a flat there so i'm basically saying um flat down so down up down a flat would actually probably it's not really a flat is it it's like a flat it's not a zig this would not be a zigzag a zigzag would actually be um you'd probably be doing a one-to-one -one of this move here so one this would probably be a bit shorter and you'll probably be doing that that would be a zigzag uh i'm not in that I'm not there yet when it comes to I know that potentially we're correcting up now and so what I'm imagining is an ABC up and if the, if we do manage to get to nine cents or something like that uh, and then I'll be looking for a down and then we have to see how how the down is um, you see this is impulse these are the these are the corrections these are the impulse those are the corrections double three yeah probably something like that like a double three like a double three or you have these triangles yeah so that's something else to bear in mind possibly a triangle and if you're looking at a triangle it's an a b c d e so actually maybe we are looking at a triangle and so let me just kind of update this a little bit let me just delete these and so therefore probably I think I'm looking at two ideas right now. A zigzag would be like this. Um, like that's that's wrong. This is a zigzag. And you just don't want it to, to take the low, okay? But you are still looking at, you know, ABC, ABC, ABC. That's what you're looking at, ABC, ABC, ABC. So, and then the other thing I'll be looking at, it might be like a, 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 a an ABCDE. Definitely could be an ABCDE. So this would be your zigzag. So let me just, and it doesn't have to be one-to-one, -one, like, you know, maybe people think it has to be one to one no it doesn't have to be one to one you could have a one to six one eight so from here to here to wherever we get to probably nine cents wherever really it's when you like here maybe here you could get back just to the 1.618 you see the higher you go it could be a one to one it depends on how high it goes that would be like a one to one if it got there that's a one you see that's a one to one so from there, from where we start to here, to there, to, to here, it says it's a one-to-one. -one. So that's possibly what you'd be looking at for a zigzag. And you'd be looking for the same idea. You're looking for an ABC, ABC up, then an ABC down, and maybe some kind of uniform movement with fib time. 
So that's one idea that I'm looking at. That would be a, 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 a zigzag. Okay. So let me just create a group of drawings, rename wave two zigzag. That's that. And oh, what's that one? This is zigzag two. There you go. And then the other idea that I was thinking about here is some kind of A, B, C, D, E some kind of triangle you can see we are in a triangle so maybe the idea continues um to wherever it peaks and so if we have a triangle wave it'd be like this there's your a let's go to the top why not something like that okay now that I think the triangle wave is going to be better for us in terms of um, in terms of an explosive move to the upside yeah i think a triangle move is going to be easier because there'll be less trapped liquidity i think if you go down for a zigzag it's going to be a little bit more difficult um i think if we get a triangle here this is going to be the most bullish situation for us right now uh, and so let me just put that into its own group I'm still contemplating ABCs yeah so when I'm imagining triangles I'm not I'm not thinking this isn't going to ABC go up ABC go down ABC go up ABC go down I'm still thinking ABCs and then obviously as we break that outer trend line I'd like a I'd like some kind of breakout back, te back test and some kind of continuation I, I wouldn't I don't just want to see a breakout I do like back tests I think they're really important for healthy price action right so this is what I'm thinking in terms of some kind of ABC move. So I'm just contemplating that as well. That's kind of what we're where we are right now. Either something like this or maybe something like that. And obviously there might be a million other ideas out there that people are uh, considering or contemplating. Um, and it, a large portion of what we're about to experience has got to do with Bitcoin um and so just bear that in mind i think it's really interesting now that we've kind of broken this down trend line you see that break i think today's uh this week last week's weekly candle was really was really bullish so potentially we're going to see a little bit of a move to the upside that's going to untrap a, a ton of liquidity if people are trapped and it's going to give people an opportunity to take profit and then it's also going to give people an opportunity to scale back in okay this doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom of this trend line it didn't here there's no reason to think it will here maybe we'll come back and hold as 5.5 as support that would be really great to experience that go up and actually there's so much demand here that the last move down maybe it will come back down for one last test and then we can have our a little bit of an explosion no one can predict how and when this is going to play out okay no one really knows but something like this is 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 very feasible okay something like this is feasible and also something like this is feasible all of these are within the context of our wave one that's our wave one and naturally we just don't want the wave two to come underneath the zero point which i'm thinking is here at 3.1 cents or thereabouts there okay that's kind of where i'm at now with elliott waves um i am expecting the next wave to be extremely e explosive I, I i really am i think this triangle squeeze is the best 
is a really good setup. Tenzoli, uh, have you heard of that new Ondo coin, mates? Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know much about it, but yeah. So um, let me just finish this. So this is good, like, this is some things to consider. Um, hypothetically, if our wave one leads to... All right, so this is what I want to do. So I'm going to put this into uh, a wave two uh, triangle. And obviously there could be other kind of wave two ideas. I'm just contemplating two right now, which kind of makes sense with the current price action. That's the triangle. This is the zigzag, okay? Triangle, zigzag. And actually the triangle, why have I got the up part? Let me get the impulse out of there. That's the that's the triangle. That's the zigzag, right? And if we have a if we have a triangle, uh, and we end somewhere there, roughly, then then what you can do is from the beginning here you can do um some kind of trend base fib all the way to the one down to where the two ends and three begins okay and then you've got some provisional targets um that will all depend on this point here so these aren't these are just arbitrary based on here if obviously if it begins if this two is there then it, everything can update and change and so that's going to be our biggest greatest indication of the end of the correction could we impulse now for free absolutely we could i don't know if it's going to happen i'm not expecting it but the other thing to bear in mind is could we impulse right now out of some kind of two right now it could this be the end of our two of course it could but I, you just don't know until you see the impulse yeah the the i'm not considering it right now just simply because we've lost the major support level we've got all of this trap liquidity that needs to be cleared i think it's very unlikely that we impulse unless we suddenly get an injection of crazy volume and the price tomorrow or next week closes impulsively up here yeah but i suddenly see that <laughs> obviously i'm going to change my mind in the first instance yeah i'm not going to hesitate to change my idea but until i see that i'm going to contemplate the most probabilistic uh price action and that will be one of these two at the moment this, these are the two i'm contemplating there could be one of other variations in play okay so I'm not necessarily expecting an impulse just yet. We're still in some kind of reaccumulation um, period. It would be really great to just get past this level, get back up, go up there, clear that liquidity and go back down there. That would be really great. This, this whole thing would be extremely, but it would look really bullish if we were able to create some kind of five wave triangle pattern here within the confines of this equal triangle that's been formed and i think then the, the breakout is going to be extremely explosive um if we do have a corrective um where did i do did i delete it probably did there's the extension no no there it is so if we do have if that does end somewhere here i don't know where it would end but let's just say it ends there on the 382 uh then we've got some nice juicy targets potentially um potentially you know you could have a really nice uh explosive move for all intense purposes that's quite a a flat correction and you could have quite an explosive move we'd have to count the waves again Then we could have a like a, a, a zig, then you can have a zigzag potentially. 
for 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 a really ma massive final move um that's the one that I w i'm expecting the biggest move possibly at the beginning of next year if you do have a zigzag um that's probably where the big move is going to be the last wave so we have to see what how this plays up but you know this this is a multi-year trend line that's potentially going to be broken and really the next move will make will change market structure here it'll be a higher high on the weekly level going in for the higher low on the weekly time frame the next big move the big impulse will be when you change market structure on the weekly time frame after you put in a higher high <coughs> wherever you put in a higher high after you put in the higher low the minute you take out that higher high <coughs> that would be a change of weekly market structure that's where you get the biggest impulse yeah and ideally that would be after the golden pocket because there is a golden pocket you kind of want to change market structure after the golden pocket if we do create that idea this will just impulse up there's no volume here it's basically like being a price discovery and i wouldn't be surprised if we we were able to hit our higher numbers sometime next year uh, i'm thinking an impulsive move has to be quite impulsive and so i am possibly it depends on bitcoin obviously and ethereum and all the rest uh it may i don't know when it's going to be exactly i can't tell you okay we'll have to mess about with um fib time to see that okay so this is kind of where i'm at now right now and so what i'm looking for right now is either something like this or something like this right and let's just keep a track of this and see what comes up it's largely to do with bitcoin yeah really it is and people don't understand how important bitcoin is to the the equation that's trvl um right now it's looking pretty healthy i've just bought a, a bit a bit more just, just keep on buying this is a very impressive um price action look at that impulse flat correction lots of volume people are buying yeah people are buying back in um i think that a lot of people are feeling a little bit bullish and now they're buying back in they must have sold when bitcoin was correcting and now they've got a little bit of capital on the side and they're increasing their increasing the size of their uh, of their bags that's what i'm seeing right now uh, and naturally we're putting volume in at these levels and that's healthy because we haven't gone lower and we're now starting to put volume in at these levels um you know we're back above these previous lows that's really important to see we're back above this low that was the, that was the main one look we're back above it yeah we've made a lower low but we're back above it that's effectively what i was suggesting was some kind of failed auction what we're experiencing now is potentially a failed auction yeah it's a failed auction of the lows confirmation of that idea will be for us to get back above 5.5 we've already tested it today and flip it in, back into support and then maybe we can start heading up again um, for an upward corrective move. And then maybe we can continue the correction to just to, to break out sometime in the autumn. OK, that's kind of I think this is going to be the most bullish price action. Uh, this wave three, even though I've got it roughly coming here, honestly, it could go anywhere. It, it could go to the moon. No one really knows. But usually wave three uh, moves are the biggest. The only reason why I'm contemplating a slightly subdued wave three and a bigger wave five is because the real input of volume will come with a change of market structure on the weekly time frame and also i'm kind of conscious of the big resistance level at roughly about 29 28 and a half 29 cents yeah which is the yearly level so that's the only reason why i'm contemplating a, a, a less a more subdued three followed by a correction um a, a bit of a deep correction for an explosive uh game changing wave five that's why i'm thinking like this this would this would be extremely bullish 
and then we have to see what happens to bitcoin okay because even if you have this kind of move if bitcoin for some reason goes sideways for the next two years altcoins will still keep will still keep on going yeah that's the other thing you have to bear in mind this only completes a macro wave one yeah this would be a macro wave one from wherever we began somewhere here wherever it was here to wherever we end up that would be your macro wave one uh then you're looking for a macro wave two for a macro wave three you know this this idea continues yeah so once we establish a market structure change and an all-time high then guess what uh this token becomes beyond ultra mega super bullish yeah you wouldn't you would never want to you'd want to you'd want to scale back in after you take your profits at the end of this 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 big wave into the next whatever the bear market looks like this this token you'd want to scale in because then the next wave is going to be off the charts like literally off the charts so that's kind of where i'm at with uh trvl right now okay so any questions on that um black child awaken hey can you do 